What's going on, guys? I'm Ultimate NES. Yes. I am Zelda Pro 064. And I'm Supreme King Zach. And, and we are here today with a Top 10 Legend of Zelda Best Games podcast. Kind yeah, of. it's our <laughs> it's Purple Coin's official Top 10 tier list for the Legend of Zelda game. And this is going to be averaged out between... I mean, I keep cutting you. You yeah. know what? You talk. <laughs> you know what? No, forget it. I was just going to say, remember, this is our opinion. But yeah, it's right. our opinions. Yeah, it's our opinion, but we're our well, opinions. Right. Right. We're actually definitely going to be right because it's going to be an average opinion of the three of us. So, like, if I if I disagree with something that he says, but he agrees closer to him, I know that probably doesn't make sense to you guys because you can't see us. But anyway, um, that would be you know that would yeah. tack, so if put that higher two, than my opinion. Two thirds. So all of our majority. opinions are going to come together and make the world's most perfect opinion. Yeah. <laughs> is that how that works? Yes. Which then becomes fact. <laughs> it becomes fact. This is how science works. Not so really. since this is a podcast, it's kind of hard to like. But without a video like showing our tier list and stuff, it's gonna be kind of hard to visualize. like visualize everything. So what but we're gonna do is you can listen to us argue and follow for a while, follow along, and we'll recap it at the yeah, end. We'll yeah, we'll do a recap. We'll do a complete recap at the end, and then I'm also gonna write a tier list on my phone, so I'll, I'll like give you the update every like two or three that we do or something. All right, so. let's. I think we should start off by marking the games that are not in our top tens. Absolutely, Phantom Hourglass, Phantom Hourglass, Spirit Tracks, Spirit Tracks, bad games, bad games. Uh, I thought Spirit Tracks well, was okay, games but it's that not could my have top been made 10. better, but mostly by not forcing you to use touch control. Okay, well, I've got a list of all of them right here, so let's just narrow it down to ten. Uh, Legend of Zelda Two is bad. It, uh, would, it wouldn't be in my top ten. Either. Hold on, hold on. But would it be in your top ten, Logan? Would it be I don't in your know. I like that game. I'm weird. I like that game. Um, two thirds vote. I don't know. Vote. I don't know if it's in my top ten. I mean, we might be able to squeeze it in at ten later. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely not. <laughs> not for me. Sorry, uh, for sure. Okay, okay. The reforming the world's most po- most perfect opinion. <laughs> okay. Um, how many do we have on? So that? we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. We still have six more that we have to eliminate. Four swords. Four swords. Oh, both of them. Yeah. Get rid of both of them. I love Four Sword Adventure. But they're not top ten. You're right. So, we have four more. Four more to eliminate. They're not top ten. I don't like the Oracle games that much. They took too much I don't for like, me to get into. Especially I like ages. ages. I don't like Ages. I like Seasons. No, I I don't like Seasons. I liked Ages. I think... Okay, wait. I got that next... I think... Ages was better of the two, I think. Yes, 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 yes. So, eliminate I guess Seasons? Uh, I would say just like, take both of them off. Ages, but okay, ages but I, is actually because they are different. They are. I know. No, I'm not saying that because they're not. I don't think they're different. I'm just saying. Me and Logan are split on if, ages still being because uh, ages would be number ten on my personal list. Oof. So, let, let's keep it for now. Let's look. At I don't everything. like Majora's Mask. You're insane. And I know you guys like it, so but, you're gonna want to put it high. But I disagree. It's not gonna be super high, but it's it's gonna it's be, gonna be on the list. Of, I don't I don't like Majora's Mask. It probably wouldn't be on my Bonkers. top ten. Absolutely and now everyone has just dis- disliked the yeah, video. Yeah, everybody just disliked the video. Well, okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and give my Some people hold that game to such high standards. <coughs> PBG! <laughs> You're right. Okay, I'm going to give my controversial then game that I don't have on my list is A Link to the Past. Really? Yeah, I know so many people like that game, but I just... Maybe it's just because I didn't grow up with it, so it's not nostalgic for me or whatever, but I just it's don't It's not care. nostalgic. I didn't grow up on it either. I played it just like... I just don't care for it Maybe that much. Okay. take it off. Ten years ago, You're maybe. Okay with Take it yeah, off. I'm okay. What? Like I, I actually, when I was watching PBG's like reaction to his top ten the other day, mm. um, which we actually had this idea before he released that video, so don't take this from us. But, yeah. um, anyway, uh, he also was like, "It's really low. I don't really like this game." And I was like, "How? How? This game is really good. I love that game." I know a lot of people like it, so I'm not willing to take it off just yet. Well. Here's my hot But then time. again, there's... I don't like Link Between Worlds. Ah! I, I can't agree with you. Ah! <laughs> a Link Between Worlds is on my top My three. heart! It's in my top three. Five, at least. Oh my god. Maybe three. <laughs> Why? Okay, so we know a Link Between Worlds is staying. For me and Logan, anyway. Majora's Mask is staying. Majora's Mask is staying, because me and you. Ocarina is staying. Of course, Ocarina is staying. Ocarina is staying. We're all... Uh, what about, okay, what about the original Legend of Zelda? Would anyone Honestly, that I, would, I would remove it. No, I would keep it. If we're trying to cut it off... Or, well, we're not talking about, like, the breakthrough of the game, maybe. We're talking about how much we like the game. I know. I like the game. What? I don't. That I think I mean, it's okay. I, I, I think it's fine. I mean, fine, but... for me, it would be 10. Mm-hmm. See, that's what ages is for me. Because it would is... go ages and then 11 would what be. What is TH? Zelda. Hold on. TH? Triforce Heroes. Oh, Triforce oh, Heroes. Oh, oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Triforce Heroes. Ooh. Ooh. Um, 
How many do we have now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We gotta cut two more. Um, the two that you know we what? are split you know on here, is here. A Link to the Past and Legend of Zelda. Cut them both. Cut them both. Yeah. Cut them both. I'll take this one. All right, guys. I I'm so sorry, <laughs> Internet, for cutting a Link to the Past, but we just it's it's. I it's, can it's I can not deal on with Link to the list. Past not being on top for me. All right, so here are the ten games that Wait, we're gonna we have to have debate Link's over. Wait, Adventure on there. <laughs> No, that's that's Link's Awakening. Oh, it says LA on there. So I was like, "Are you serious?" <laughs> like, no. Excuse me, what? Okay, so here it is. We have Link's Awakening, Ocarina. This of is Time. not the order. This is yeah. just the games we have to choose from to select in the top. To, yes. to put the top ten. Yes. So Link's Awakening, Ocarina of Time, Oracle of Ages, Majora's Mask, Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, Skyward Sword, A Link Between Worlds, Breath of the Wild, and Minish Cap. <laughs> All right. So what's number ten? Ages Ooh. is my number 10. Majora's Artists. Mask. Ages. Ages is number 10. <laughs> Oracle of Ages. Well, we can see if you're saying Majora's Mask and we're Into just going to be like, just no. <laughs> Alright, so we've eliminated that. Okay. Um, so next for me would... I don't Ooh, know. What... Skyward Sword. Actually, put Skyward Sword lower. I like Oracle of Ages more than Skyward Sword. Well, Oracle I... of Ages that didn't. No, I'm sorry. Disagree. Is it locked in for sure? Yes. Okay. I think Skyward Sword is better than. Here's my okay. Here's my next three that like I'm gonna disagree. Like, I don't care what order they put in here really because anything below like anything below five doesn't really count to me. But uh, Majora's Mask, Link's Awakening, and uh, Skyward Sword are gonna be my next three. Like, I'm okay with Link's Awakening. I like Link's nine. Awakening, but I'm trying to think. Of I would put one it on higher this than list. Skyward Sword, and I would put it higher than Wind Waker, than not Wind Waker, than Majora's Mask. I think Link's Awakening is what I would put next to. Yep. So Link's Awakening is officially locked in at number nine. My thinking is garbage. <laughs> it is. Okay, so Just this is where it's going to start getting a little harder. Uh, I okay, would say Majora's Mask or Skyward, Skyward Sword. Sword. Really? I really like Skyward Sword, though. Me too, but I, I, I just figured really like that Skyward you guys Sword. wouldn't uh, want it higher, so who's going to just put it here? So, here's where I'm split. I'm split at a link between Worlds or Skyward Sword. Those are the two I'm split on right now. What? Oh, I, I'd rather Dude, put Link Between Worlds there. I have Link Between Worlds there. way higher. No, that is the I, best I would want Link Between Worlds. I have Skyward Sword above Link Between Worlds. Yeah, I would Skyward do. Sword above Link Between Worlds? Yep. You guys are actually Link wild. Between Worlds was just way too easy. I don't care and that not it's only easy. That. Dungeon design is perfect. Gameplay is perfect. Mm. Mechanics were smooth. Bosses were fun. They I were easy. I love that game. I freaking love that game. There's all kinds of collectibles. It was mm. the perfect 2D Zelda game mm. to me. I would, I would even... Uh, I hate to say this. I love Minish Cap. Minish Cap is my favorite 2D Zelda game, but I would probably put Link Between Worlds over Minish Cap. Link Between Worlds is absolutely everything that should be in a 2D I, Zelda game. I played the game. It is I did not feel and... it. I was not feeling it throughout the entire game. I was like, this is not... It, it is a phenomenal game, but and I could, it I, was way too easy for me to I did not even beat Skyward Sword. I hate that game. I hate Skyward Sword. It is worse to me than Majora's Insane. Mask. I bet you only hate it because motion. I do hate it because motion controls. And also, the story's bland. A... Story's bland. Story I think, is bland. I think the characters were cool. I think the characters were cool. I think the concept is cool, but I think that the overall execution was kind of boring. It was too linear, and it was also full of just like ridiculous nonsense that I would wish. And see, that stuff I can with. agree with, but I still think it was better than a link between Me worlds. Too. I can't agree. Link between worlds is just so. Oh, but link between worlds is so link good. Between worlds, play down. I'm sorry, Logan. The I can't believe you guys. You guys are making the world's worst opinion. <laughs> no, we are. You guys just have garbage taste in okay, Zelda Okay, but games. Logan, what if we put Skyward Sword next? Yeah, Skyward Sword is going to be you next. Then put Twilight Princess after that. Uh, Majora's Mask after that. Because I'm Hang on, Skyward Sword. Sword. I put Ocarina. I can't believe you guys have that at 7 already. Ocarina? What is wrong with you? Hang on, hang on. Let me, let me refresh where we're at right now. Okay. Number 10, we have Oracle of Ages. Number 9, Link's Awakening. Number 8, A Link Between Worlds. This list is bad. 7, Skyward Sword. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe you put those games below Skyward Sword. Yeah. I would put all three of those games over Skyward Sword. Crazy. Well, you're crazy. I would have it really close to Link's Awakening, though. I think Link's Awakening is good, but... Alright, so what do we have Insane. left? We have Alright, so we have... Time, Majora's Mask, Wind Waker, Majora's Twilight Mask, Prince. Twilight Princess. Majora's Mask and Twilight Princess are my next two least favorites. You're insane. What's... What's the last one? Minish Cap. Minish Cap. Oh. Um, Wind Waker. Wind Waker. I I'm going to Waker. blow my actual brains out. I I, I I don't agree with him on this one. I'm right going there. to blow my actual freaking bla- brains out. The only reason I say that is because... I want to die! The reason I say <laughs> Your that... Your opinions are so bad! Boat. And... Searching for Triforce. 
Okay, but they fixed the and the last and the last really two dungeons really suck. The two dungeons are not that bad. The wind dungeon is like eh, but the wind the... dungeon sucks. No, That's one not. of my least favorite dungeons to go to in any Zelda game. I hate that dungeon with a burning passion. Guys, I wish you could see our faces, especially mine. I I'm just like I like Great Bay Temple better than the wind. I like Great Bay. Yeah, I didn't think Great Bay was that bad. Everyone says that dungeon's awful, and it's not that no, bad. It's not no, that no. bad. Yeah. It's not. Uh, yeah. Um, so, so we're trying to debate here on Majora's Mask and what? Minish Cap probably would be next for me. <laughs> I think it's between Majora's Mask and Minish Cap for me. <laughs> I would say Minish Cap. Oh, guys, I'm, go I'm to really, my channel, I'm my really, YouTube channel. <laughs> At the end of this month, I'm going to have my top ten, and I'm going to defend them with my life. And you're going to get so many dislikes, I'm going Kyle. to defend I'm my... i dislike that video. Do it. <laughs> That's, that counts as viewer engagement now. They changed the way dislikes work. Uh, Did they? I, I like Majora's Mask. I, I think the too. story is really good. Oh my god! I like the oh environment. I love the masks. Oh my god! The master god. Really cool. I like mask that mechanic. Oh my god! <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> this is this hurts. But I'm, here's the thing: I'm really split. Oh I, he's he's for Minish Cap being higher than uh, Majora's Mask, and you're for Majora's Mask being higher than Minish Cap. But I'm really split on this one. Okay, so, so you guys, I kinda, need to, I you guys want to know right now. Me. What do you guys think is? Why is Breath of the Wild still here? But because it's good. But we're not even talking about Breath of the Wild. <laughs> it would just don't here. need to. It'd either here. be five or six for me at this point. But Majora's You're Mask insane. would be lower. Skyward Sword would be lower. Link Between Worlds would be higher. Link's okay. Awakening would be about where it is. And so would Oracle. But, but, but like, I'm so scared that you guys are going to think that, like, one of the worst games are going to be tight. Or not one of the worst. We already have almost all the worst stuff. But, like, the ones that aren't very good, you're going to have that at slot one. And I'm going to actually lose it. Breath of the Wild's top three. No, it's not. What is wrong with you? I think it's three. I think... What is wrong we're with We're not you there people? yet, though. <laughs> Minish Cap and Majora's Mask. That's what we're debating now. Because that's the only split that we're at right now. I, that's not even a split. That's a no-brainer. Majora's Mask Majora's is Mask worse is than better. Minish Cap. It's you, better. Okay, since I, I, I'm going to have to be the one that decides this. Because I'm the only one that's split here. So you guys have to convince me. Get, sh, give me your argument for Majora's Mask. And uh, then you give me for Minish Cap. It, the story is just really good and really deep. <laughs> Logan, are you Majora's Mask is really deep. Are you trying to tell me that it's not? Majora's Mask is not deep. It is very surface. There's a kid no. that got lost in the woods, found a spooky mask that he stole from a salesman, and now he's like, wow, I'm full of power. I'm going to use this power to end the world because my life is sad. That wow. is like... That is how you would describe it if you're trying to describe it badly. That That is literally it, the story. You, no. Oh my it goes God. through so much... It has so much depth. Oh know my gosh, depth people! I know it's game. very deep. It oh, this lot. is like that Rick and Morty IQ post. The only people that can actually enjoy Rick and Morty have the highest IQs. It is deep and intellectual. Only the people who like Rick and Morty have high IQs. I <laughs> like this Rick and Morty, Logan, but that show's stupid. That's why Logan's like, oh, it's not even that deep. Yes, but George Mask is not deep. Oh my god, it's dark. Okay, look, you can call it dark because people die. It's it deals with grief. And it, okay, it deals with stuff, it is but deep. It is though. not it is deep. deep. Oh my god, it's so. Zelda games I think are not it deep. Talks about I think a Zelda game can be considered and suffering and how yeah. to accept Zelda it. games and are the, not deep. And the lives of the Goron and the Deku Kid and the Zora no. are all just like no. that's important. when it can go deep into like philosophical thoughts and, and stuff like that. No. Spoilers, it I guess. It really has that stuff. The big side quest of the game. And I'm not about to argue that Minish Cap is deep because I guarantee I will not be able to say that because I would lie. Because it's, it's not. a lie. It's not yeah, deep. It's not. But the gameplay is fun and intuitive. So is Majora's and Mask. It's, but that side quest with the two people who are getting and married. And the freaking that's time so mechanics. Big. The freaking time mechanics are terrible. Well, they're I, not. They're I not. hate that. They're, they're not. really cool. I they're very manageable. Hate it. When I was a kid, I could not play Majora's Mask. Because he was a stupid kid. Because of the he was time stupid. limit. You were just like, stressed. And then even when I play it now, it still stresses me out. And it took me forever to actually beat that game because I could not deal with that stupid time mechanic. And the masks are cool. Look, I can say the masks are kind of cool, but you could kind of achieve. Cool. Yeah, right, you, you can you achieve know, some of the things. You know, right? Hey, on. He, he needs to argue <laughs> his point for Minish Cap still. Okay, you can argue some of the same things with like with Minish Cap. You got brand new items that did completely different things from other games. So that, okay. that would be what I would compare to the masks of that game because they are essentially the same mechanic to allow you to do new things that you otherwise wouldn't be able to do. It doesn't entirely change the gameplay the way that Majora's Mask changed the gameplay, but I'm going to argue I didn't actually like changing the gameplay of Majora's Mask. I kind of wish I was just Link. 
the whole game. That is actually another thing that really gets on my nerves. I don't like Twilight Princess very much because of the freaking wolf segments. I don't That's like dumb. I don't like Majora's Mask because of the time limit. I don't like Majora's Mask because of the like structure. I don't like Majora's Mask because of the mask changes. But I like Legend of I like things like Legend of Zelda Minish Cap and games like um, Link Between Worlds because the mechanics in that game don't truly affect the gameplay. They are simple, and you still get to play Zelda the way that it should be played, which I think is just Link doing his thing, busting up into dungeons. So and Logan's also very, good, Logan also is good vanilla and doesn't like new things. Good dungeon design. Good dungeon design is very important. Uh, Majora's Mask has, like, two good dungeons. I don't like any other dungeon, and I particularly dislike the first one. So, sorry, but... Okay, that was a really good convincing point for me, is that Majora's Mask only has four dungeons, and there's only, like, two of them that I... Or even, like, like, okay. I don't like Majora's I, Mask's dungeons. I gotta agree with you there. Minish Cap does have the better Minish dungeons. Ma- oh my god, the first dungeon, like, immerses you into what you're about, what you're getting into. It teaches you that, like, you're okay, small now, need, and even the, and even the normal enemies can be bosses while. now, and then everything changes later on. Vati is also a great villain. <laughs> uh, Skull, oh, sorry. I love Vati. Skull Kid's not even a villain. He's just a puppet. But Majora really is a good. cool Majora is a cool villain, but he's not even cool until the end of the game. So, oh, but also gosh. you get to feel for the villain. Skull Kid you has feel the same way for backstory. Bati. He has backstory. No, he was just no, a pupil. Really. He was a kid trying to do his best, and everyone okay. was like, "You're never gonna make it." So he was like, "Well, fine, screw you." And he t- he stole the sword and stone to the so princess. He's just an edge lord. He is an edge lord. I and love him. That's bad. That's how really. Like but then he, well, his edge lord channeled. It, you okay. became a demon by the end of it, so... I, I decided. I'm... Minish Cap is six. Yes. I'm sorry, Logan. I... I just... I like Majora's Mask better than Minish Cap. Especially after hearing both sides. I just... I like the concept and everything about Majora's Mask a lot more than Minish Cap. Okay, so Majora's Mask is next on the list for me, though. Yes, that's okay. But don't try to argue that it's deep. It is. Not, I think it is. It's not... It is. I think that's a whole other podcast. <laughs> is Majora's Mask actually deep? Now here's where we're really going to start getting into some crap. Oh my god, I uh, hate this. Okay, we got four left. Uh, let's go ahead and recap the list. My favorite games aren't even up here anymore. Wind Waker. Uh, Breath uh, of the Wild. Number ten is Oracle of Ages. Nine is Link's Awakening. Oh wait, Twilight Princess. Eight is A Link Between Worlds. Seven is Skyward Sword. Six is Minish Cap. And five is Majora's Mask. So now we've got Ocarina of Time, Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, and Breath of the Wild left. Wind Waker. Breath, uh, Twilight Princess. You're Wind Waker. You're Twilight Princess. You're so... <laughs> yeah, that ain't that. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Um, that game's mediocre. So now, I would have to say Wind Waker as well. Honestly. Okay. Just, be- <laughs> Just because... It's either that or Breath of the Wild. It's one of those two. No. I'd be okay if we put Breath of the Wild here. <laughs> I mean, this list is not... You just have unpopular opinions. He's just got bad taste. <laughs> that too. So, Wind Waker or Breath of the Wild? Twilight Princess. You know, I'm trying. I'm sitting here thinking. Twilight Princess. If I could only, that's not happening. Twilight Princess. If if I could only play one of these games, and I couldn't play the other one ever again, I played Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild. Yeah. There's, there's just Wind Waker is too frustrating towards the end. So yeah, Wind Waker's at number four. So now we're down to Ocarina of Time, Twilight Princess, and Breath of the Wild. No, I would put Breath of the Wild. You'd put Breath Twilight of the Wild? Twilight Princess. <laughs> Breath of the Wild. He's just going to say Twilight Princess. <laughs> I like Breath of the Wild more than Twilight Princess because I didn't have to deal with any stupid gimmicks except for the freaking rotator thing. Ooh, Screw yeah, that, that sucked. <sighs> Man, Breath of the Wild is so hard to I don't so want Ocarina to of Time to be number one, though. Frick that's, this. That's true. I also don't want Ocarina of Time to be number one. I... I'd put that but, but I think Breath of the Wild does not deserve number one, and I think Twilight Princess definitely does not deserve number one. So this list is already frigged. So it's Ocarina of Time, Breath of the Wild, Twilight Princess, right? Yes. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. That's, my um, brain! No, 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 no. no? Um, <laughs> my brain can't handle it! You guys are what, listening to a guy go mad <laughs> live. Yeah. Look at that peak. Oh, I lost it. I can't Ooh. handle how... Oh Ooh, my gosh! Sorry, people. Look, okay, sorry earlier. Okay, I'm sorry to you guys, but also, I I can't I can't believe this. I thought you, we knew each other better, <laughs> and you guys are blowing my mind with how just odd right we are odd right that your decisions are. are. Like people, I look at I look at other top ten lists, and they don't even they don't look like this. Okay, and I'm not trying to like say that oh we're wrong because we're pick, we're not going off of someone else's top ten, but you're. 
Your guys' like together top ten is like takes what other people would have in their top five and you put them on the bottom, except for Ocarina of Time. What? You're saying that Minish Cap, Skyward Sword, A Link Between Worlds, Link's Awakening, and Oracle of Ages are in other people's top five? Not Oracle of Ages. Uh, actually, I've seen some people argue for that, but like, I don't even care. Minish Cap, Skyward Sword, Link's Awakening, Oracle I've of Ages, I've seen a lot of people put Skyward Sword as their number one. I don't agree with that either, but... Um, yeah. Skyward Sword should not be in any top five. Some people love that game. I, I, not in top I don't, five, definitely I don't feel not. It, mm-hmm. but... Neither should Oracle game. Uh, Link's Awakening, Link I could see. Link Between Worlds is on a lot of people's very favorites. Link Between Worlds, I can also see. Not Minish Cap, just because I know that game is very underrated. Yeah, but the people that have played it really like it. Mm-hmm. It's because it's really good. Anyways, um, I'm just going to go ahead and say Twilight Princess is my favorite Zelda game of all time. So that's going to be my number one. So <laughs> oh I'm trying to God. choose between Ocarina of Time and Breath of the Wild here. Oh my gosh. At this point, I'm happy. Breath of the Wild, Ocarina, Twilight Princess. That's what you would say. But Breath of the Wild is so good. How do you guys like Twilight Princess? I need you guys to explain Twilight Princess to me. Like, why do you like it so much? We'll get there. Let's let's do that once we get there. Over there, I think. Are we saying Breath of the Wild is... Yes. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Ocarina of Time is number two. Breath of the Wild 2 is number one. <laughs> Breath of the Wild 2, number one. Twilight <laughs> Princess got cut. Logan would be okay with that, I guess. Yeah, no, I wouldn't, because we don't even know what... Uh, honestly, for all we know, Twilight, Twilight, uh, Twilight Princess could actually be better than Breath of the Wild 2, because Breath of the Wild 2 could be like, hey, you remember Breath of the Wild? Well, this is just Breath of the Wild again, but with some kind of stupid mechanic. I'd be okay. I would hate it. I like Breath of the Wild. I, I thought like Breath, Breath of the Wild was okay. It would be like number five for me. How can you? How can anyone say Breath of the Wild is just okay? I mean, look, I'm allowed to say that because I spent 120 hours with it and still haven't finished everything. So, and you say, and how do? You, how how can you say that it's just okay? But like, I just there, don't. What other Zelda game can you spend that many hours in and well, still not reason, be done? The and only it's... reason is because the game is freaking massive. But that exactly. Doesn't make, that doesn't make a good. That doesn't no. make a game good. Yeah, you're right. But. In this it's, case, it does. It's very nice to just be able to explore. Yeah, but, like, that's not why... I mean, I, I like to explore, right? And, like, I'm playing Pokemon Shield right now, and I'm, I've done a bunch of exploring in that. I'm not even halfway... I'm not even halfway through the game, and I've already put over 20 hours into it, and I'm just exploring. And I love to explore in video games. But, like, when that is a game's whole... You would hate Personality... Death <laughs> I would hate Death Stranding. <laughs> uh... If, but, like, the game's, like, whole purpose is just, like, explore this big, empty world. I mean, I loved Skyrim for the first week that I played it, and then I was like, wow, I am sick of this, because, like, it's just really okay, not Okay, but that... Skyrim is really empty for the most part. Breath though. of... You cannot say that Skyrim is really empty and then say, breath... then defend Breath of the Wild. But Breath of the Wild at least has, like, Koroks everywhere, and then it's got the shrines everywhere. I mean, there is a ton of stuff to do in Breath of the Wild. There is a million things to do in Skyrim. Every... Skyrim every time yeah in the towns no no outside of towns you walk a few feet outside of town you run into a cave you run into a group of bandits you run into a bandit hideout you run into another cave you see another dungeon there's a dungeon and dungeon, and dungeon and a well in Skyrim. dungeon 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 well dungeon dragon dungeon well bandit bandit thing <laughs> no i have to castle with that i've not even played skyrim but from what i've seen that is not how it goes. That's how I... That's how Me and him streamed Skyrim for an hour and a half one time. That's true. And we just yeah. ran around pushing goats around in the open fields. We, did. we couldn't find there anything. There was nothing to do. I mean, you have to just look a little bit. No. Like, there's we, even marks we on your map were. everywhere. We were looking. Like, all the, we were moving. We the found is, nothing. Breath of the Wild is empty just, as oh. heck. You cannot defend Breath of the Wild saying it's not empty because there are just vast open lands of just like nothing but they're fun to explore though you cannot call that fun to explore because you can't i had a blast yeah there's not even anything to do you just i when i finally got and the finding freaking... those koroks they are everywhere also you literally can't but... walk to a part of the map without finding a korok yeah but that's that's not a reason to like i got excited i don't enjoy that one. part of the game i think that's I enjoyed that ridiculous lot. and i, I think that there's too many i also think there's too many and then like that's that's absurd. But it's like shrines were everywhere. There are you not shrines take... everywhere. I, I spent forever looking for shrines sometimes because I could not. I remember. I remember when I played the game. No, one of the last. Shut, like, shut up. Shut up. Well, shut I remember up. when I played no, the game for a while. Uh, I was uh, looking because... everywhere for a shrine, and I spent three hours doing nothing because I could not find a shrine. Then you anywhere. Are bad at the video game. I could not find a shrine. I was playing it, anywhere. I would get distracted by shrines, by towers constantly it took me forever 
to get to the main objective it because I was so long. busy doing other stuff. That's crazy. It did not take me that long. Dude, I, I didn't have trouble shrines. finding shrines until like the last 15. I found a lot of, bunch of shrines in a row and then I got to like I think 80. Logan is just bad at videos. I got to, I got to this shrine 80, like 80 something and then at that point it would take me at least an hour of just random terrible exploration to find something else. I was so sick of that Lo game. I didn't okay. even play it Logan anymore. Logan doesn't like because... exploration. Logan like straightforward cut to the point. I know I hate hold Skyward my, Sword. Hold my hand I hate and lead Skyward me to the Sword. goal. That is what Logan likes. He doesn't I like Skyward Sword. I hate Skyward Sword because it does that too much. He needs something in between. I need like something Twilight in between. Princess. Like Twilight Princess. I hate Twilight. That is why it was our number one. <laughs> <laughs> why do you not like Twilight Princess? If it's literally just because of Wolf Link, you're wrong. You're wrong. It's because of. And you're wrong. All right, there we go, guys. So uh, that is our top ten. Well, Zelda let games. me reread it now. All right, number 10, Oracle of Ages. Number 9, Link's Awakening. Number 8, A Link Between Worlds. Number 7, Skyward Sword. Number 6, Minish Cap. Number 5, Majora's Mask. Number 4, Wind Waker. Number 3, Breath of the Wild. Number 2, Ocarina of Time. Number 1, Twilight Princess. All right, there you go. Let's go. So, uh, if you I know that's not a popular opinion, though. Yeah. That Twilight Princess is number I, I 1. I mean, that's okay. We don't have... It's fact. We, we tested it. This is a fact. That's, oh. This is factual. That is the it's best a, game. These are the top 10 best Zelda games in order. This is facts. If you guys disagree, you're wrong, but that's okay. Please don't dislike or unsubscribe. <laughs> I'm disliking and unsubscribing. All right. Okay. Make sure to leave your comments. Wait, we didn't argue why what? Twilight Princess was our favorite. I don't have to know. You said you wanted to know. I don't care anymore. Okay. Let us know what your favorite Zelda game is. I like we'll that We'll see game. you guys next time. Yeah. Bye. Bye.